Well, we'll kick things off with a nice Cajun song here that is positive. <laughs> that doesn't happen too much with Cajun songs. Or the music's happy, but the lyrics are sad. But this one is, when I was young, I used to pick up my bell and my old wagon and go to the dance. So start with that. Three, three, four. <laughs> favorite little square dance tunes here. We love playing for square dances whenever we get a chance. And uh, this one's called Knock Around the Kitchen Until the Cook Comes Home. <laughs> During the pandemic when we couldn't really uh, go travel and play music like we have been doing forever, uh, uh, we did a lot, of, a lot of cooking at home and doing a lot of catering in the area. Nadine's an amazing chef. And uh, so a lot of times when she go to bed, I'd be kind of knocking around the kitchen, snacking away and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll put in a little song at the end called Ain't Got No Honey Baby Now. I'm 
get married, you're going across the sea. How you gonna have my children? No, honey, baby. Single man roaming around town. Now my love got married, got no honey now. She's gone. <laughs> well, we'll do a nice song we got from Elizabeth Cotton. And, um, What'd you say? I said, yay, Elizabeth Cotton. Yeah. And apparently the story goes that this one, she wrote with her grandchildren as they were coming to sleep over. They'd write a verse, then another verse, then it came with a million verse. So I just sang a few of those really cute verses. It's called Shake Sugary. I got a song and it won't be long. classic that you hear in lots of different genres of music and this one's called rye whiskey sometimes it's called the jack of diamonds or uh, what else is it called drunken hiccups drunken sometimes hiccups. But, uh, <laughs> this is an old one that we got from the banjo playing of frank prophet today we're calling it rye whiskey yeah. who knows what we'll call it tomorrow. sing along if you, if you get anything from any of the lyrics pretty simple Drunk 
I sat on it long. A liquor jug beside me, and I'm sicker than a dog. Oh Lordy, oh Lordy, how bad I do feel. Oh Lordy, oh Lordy, how bad I do feel. shows this type of music and how, like she said, with the Cajun music too, you know, it's a lot of this like real sad kind of dark lyrics, but everyone's smiling when they're singing them. <laughs> well, it's, it's uh, no lie that uh, we love Dolly Parton and I have this recurring dream that Reeb and Dolly and I are singing Angel Band at some concert <laughs> one time, so if I keep wishing for it, maybe it'll be, it'll be happening. <laughs> but until then, <laughs> we'll play a, a nice song that she wrote, uh, one of my favorite actually, called When Someone Wants to Leave. <laughs>
want to say hi. I'm not going to see you a whole lot today because I'm <laughs> done my back to you, but I'm happy that you're out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do. Uh, there are many, sort of many subgenres within the genre of old time country music that we're doing. Um, you know, there's these bad man ballads. There's these sad songs. There's these drinking songs, heartbreak little songs. Little furry animal songs. Little furry animal songs. <laughs> and then a lot of our songs are gospel songs. It's part of the tradition. But then there are a lot of these gospel songs that maybe you wouldn't actually hear in church. And this, this is one of the one of those songs. You seem to be singing quite a few, though. Yeah. I know. Nah. <laughs> I haven't been to church in a while, but uh, this is maybe a Sunday afternoon gospel song. Maybe. It's called uh, it's called the Little Black Train. It's got a good message. Two, three.
That's a version that doesn't have any of the verses in it. I just sang the chorus parts. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Insert verse two. This is a really long story to say that before I was uh, with Sammy, I loved to play swing and bossa nova and that kind of stuff. And Sammy got me into the old time vortex and I seem to never got out of it. But <laughs> it's kind of recurring once in a while, these little uh, swingy ditty that <laughs> maybe we'll play one of those uh, called um, J'ai Deux Amours. It'll be a French one. Uh, that was written for Josephine Baker, the wonderful dancer, and uh, she was such an amazing big star in France. And uh, so the, the story, the lyrics go like, I have two loves, my country and Paris, and I like them both, but when I go to Paris, it's so beautiful, and I would love to go there again. Here it is, Chez Deux Amours. <laughs> And sensitive too sometimes. <laughs> uh, I'm learning, I'm learning. Um, the first tune that we're gonna play comes from a great fiddle player a few hours away from our house named Edouard Richard. And he wrote this one called Castonguay that we got from our great friend Stephanie Lepin. And we'll uh, go into a tune from Newfoundland called the Red Island Tune. <laughs> Thank you. 
been a lot of fun over the last uh, few years getting to learn some more of the music from our region and over in Newfoundland as well. So it's an amazing music tradition out there too. We're gonna take you back down to Louisiana for a little waltz here, written by a great friend of ours named Dirk Powell. Um, it's a great story behind this one, Nadine will fill you in. This one is the story of uh, this guy who's in the forest on his horse and he hears far away a beautiful voice and he's really drawn to what he's hearing and he goes closer and closer and then he can't really quite get the language that it's sung in and he can't see her face. He only sees long dark hair and a tattered dress. So he's thinking maybe she's uh, First Nation, maybe she's a uh, Cajun, maybe she's Creole, but he calls her an angel for all of Louisiana. Cajun tradition, if uh, you've ever been to a dance club there, a waltz is always followed by a two-step, and a two-step is always followed by a waltz, so we'll get Sammy on the accordion. We brought a bunch of instruments, might as well play them all.
did marry someone who plays accordion and banjo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always the same jokes about both instruments. <laughs> Maybe we'll just play one more song uh, and take a, a short break, like David said, and we'll uh, we ca Cajunified this next song that comes from John Prine, who we sadly lost a few years back. And, uh, but it's a happy song with a, a few funny words in it. <laughs> <laughs> like like under underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Crossing her legs is funny She looks down her nose at money And she gets it on like the Easter Bunny She's my baby, I'm her honey I'm never gonna let her go Well, he ain't got late in a month The Sundays I caught him once And he was sniffing my undies He ain't too sharp but he get things done Drinks his beer like it's oxygen He's my In spite of ourselves, we'll end up sitting on a rainbow. Against all odds, honey, we're picked or fried. We're gonna spy our noses right off of our faces. There won't be nothing but big old hearts. Jokes are corny, convict movies make her home. She likes ketchup on her scrambled eggs, and she swears like a sailor when she shaves her legs. She takes a licking, she keeps on ticking. I'm never gonna let her go. He's got more balls than a big brass monkey, is a whacked out weirdo and a love bug junkie. Sly as a fox, crazy as a loon. Baby comes and he's a howling at the moon. He's my baby. Easy. 
Please turn around because I'm going to try a Cajun tune on the banjo here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind, do you? <laughs> so, um, Acadian is uh, kind of the ancestors of the, the Cajuns, and uh, my last name is Landry, and my mom's maiden name is LeBlanc, which is the most kind of too common. Uh, last name in the area, and we we're joking earlier. Like, if you open the phone book, <laughs> it's like Landry's and the Blancs all over the board, and uh, and Michelle, like the French for Mike, Michael is uh, really popular too. <laughs> there was a uh, there's like snowmobile trails, and uh, it, it costs money to to go on those trails. And they were doing a draw to get one of those passes for free. And then they opened the thing, and it was like, and the winner is. Michel Leblanc, and uh, and the audience, they're like, which one? <laughs> there were so many. <laughs> it was my uncle, he won it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll do a really nice one here. It <clears throat> comes from France, and can, there's maybe some versions in Quebec and some versions in Louisiana, and we got this one from one of our favorite CD, the jo Joelle Savoy and um, Lindsay Young. I don't know if you've heard before, but uh, this is one, one of those CDs that if it got stuck in the car CD player forever, we would have been completely okay and enchanted with that. And uh, <clears throat> it, it was a, a, kind of a conversation between the men and the woman where he says, I'll give you a golden ring if you'll marry me. And she's like, nah. 
Uh, I'll give you about a brand new car and my portrait if you'll marry me. And she's like, no. Uh, he's like, wow, okay. Uh, how about the key to all my silver and my gold? And once again, she refuses and finally kind of smartens up and says, I'll give you my heart and all the love that's in it. Aww. And she says, yes. <laughs> Sammy and I just got our ninth wedding anniversary under our belt a few oh. weeks ago. <laughs> it, w it was too funny. We got to, we, we were playing at the, a festival one morning on a Saturday morning as part of this thing with the kind of a really great performance art crew, the Cardboard Songsters, and they made a bunch of cardboard props for this song. And <clears throat> they call it Saturday morning cartoons, playing for all the kids at the festival. And the, so Nadine explains the story and it got to the part, you know, I'll give you my heart and all the love that's in it. And all the kids went, ew. <laughs> <laughs> and this one, this one kid goes like, man, I would have taken that silver and gold.
was a little banjo tune from Kentucky called The Bald Headed Judge. <laughs> Well, seems like uh, we can't seem to be doing a show without playing one of those Carter family songs, and uh, this won't be any ex exception. So uh, this one we learned recently, uh, it's called The River of Jordan. play the smallest instrument that we've brought on tour with us. <laughs> <laughs> or instruments. We'll just bust out the fiddle sticks for one. Sammy coming from a good old family of Lutheran. Uh, I think fiddle sticks was the worst swear word his grandma ever used. <laughs> That's right. That was the hitting your uh, big toe or your little toe on the side of the bed in the morning. That was a big old yeah. fiddle stick. <laughs> well, we're going to play one here. It's called Doni, which is just a term of endearment. Uh, darling or sweetums or whatever you say. probably noticed us uh, retuning all over the place, but that, that's an old tradition that uh, kind of got left by the wayside when this music was more on the stage and on the radio and things like that. But uh, to get those old, get those old sounds, you got to retune it to cross tunings and stuff. And so bear with us a little bit. But we'll do a, uh, we'll do Dona here. And Nadine's gonna play the fiddle sticks. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> two, three, four. My little 
well, don't eat, don't you weep and cry. Some sweet day's coming, I'm gonna marry you and I. I wish I had a mailbox, put my dummy in, take her out and kiss her and put her back again. It's the words. Her cheeks like lilies, her eyes like a rose. Now I love me, don't eat well, God only knows. earlier uh, my, my grandma's a fiddle player and uh, very strangely you know she never tuned her fiddle it was kind of sitting on the wall she'll, she'd pick it up hand it to grandpa who did not play music at all but had the magical talent of tuning the fiddle and hand it to my grandma and uh, grandpa was uh, quite the magical man he had a lot of gifts you could stop people from bleeding if you if you cut yourself or something bad happened to you you could just call him or go visit him and it would just magically stop and that was a gift that some people had along our region because there were so few hospitals in between villages that you kind of had to take care of yourself um, and he, he saved some some uh, woman who was having uh, children and it was just like really really messy and the husband called and uh, saved the woman's life and um, he would also stop colic on horses as well and <laughs> there was a it was a weird thing, even if it was the uh, the neighbors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> even if it was the neighbor's horse, and Grandpa could clearly see him, the neighbor would call, and say, "Oh, my horse having colics," and he would go as follow: "What color is your horse? Oh, it's brown. Okay, it'll be fine tomorrow when you go in the stable. Your horse will be fine." <laughs> Which is really funny, and uh, the the whole blood stopping blood thing it it, had, it was passed down from a man to a woman to a man to a woman and he he gave it to the local nurse and then somehow my grandma had received it from another man and then I was always curious and asking a bunch of questions but they could not say anything about it because they would lose the gift and I was like well do you, do you know what you say do you say the same thing and they're like we don't know we never talked about it and stop asking questions <laughs> and uh, I don't know where it's that gift now but I'm still hoping one day maybe I'll get it and you'll be able to call me if something bad happens to you. I hope nothing bad happens to you, but if, if it does, you can think of my grandpa. His name was Roger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to play a tune that comes from Scandinavia, from the great country of Norway. This is a, a beautiful tune called Felvak, which means, I think, mountain bird.
we'll do one here from one of my music heroes. My oldest brother, Eric, he got me into playing a lot of, just interested in a lot of this kind of traditional music at a really early age. And so one of my music heroes, I got to see all the way through junior high and high school when I still lived in Minnesota, was a guy named Spider John Kerner. The great trio in the 60s called Kerner Ray and Glover. And those guys were still playing all, Spider's still going. It's like, last time Foghorn played in Minneapolis, we got him to open up, it was my dream come true. He was like 80 years old at the time. And still so funky and amazing. But uh, this is one that we got from Spider, it's called The Black Dog. <laughs> Me and some neighborhood buddies, we had a little rock band, you know, and uh, starting when we were like nine, ten years old, we all started getting instruments. And uh, but then we had like a, a little folk group too, and that was one of our hits in sixth grade. That last one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you know it. <laughs> our bass player had to get the acoustic bass, but of course it's still plugged in and all that stuff. <laughs> All right, here's one uh, called Bury Me Not on the Lone Prairie. <laughs> Die 
lie in bed at the close of day. It matters not, I've often told, where the body lies when the heart grows cold. Yet grant, oh grant, this wish to me, and bury me not on the lone prairie. I wish to when I have died in a little churchyard on the green hillside by my father's grave there let mine be and bury me not on the lone prairie But they buried him there on the long prairie Where the wild rose blooms and the wind blows free Where the owl at night hoots mournfully Or his lonely grave on the long prairie Well, here's one of my favorite little fiddle tunes. It comes from West Virginia. It's called Big Hoedown. Yeah, we're due for a good old fiddle tune at this point. Now. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Two, three.
We're so, so grateful and we're so happy they have dogs so we can just pet them because we miss our dog like crazy. <laughs> and uh, a nice hand to Steven and Tyler and April, the audio video crew. And, uh, and to Walter for bringing us back here from Flagstaff. Well, to all of you for supporting live music, we're very happy and grateful that you're here too. Thank you. We're gonna leave you with a kind of an epic song that lasts for a long. It's pretty long, but it's a really nice story. <laughs> that took me a long time to sing without crying and. Just because the guy is just really nice and uh, doesn't do anything bad to the girl even though she's married like a lot of murder ballads this one is just like being really respectful about it it's like wow <laughs> a nice guy <laughs> Yeah.
on a really slow song, but <laughs> we thought, hey, we're far away from home and they can't take us out. <laughs> well, we sure appreciate the hospitality here and uh, it's uh, getting really cold back home, so we're just gonna soak in every bit of heat that we can to bring home. <laughs> Here's the Reno Waltz. the fast one after all. <laughs> I can't go, I can't hold it. 